Hey everybody, we're back out in the Ocean View field. I um, wanted to show you a tool as we prep our mixed block that we use sometimes on the farm, not all the time. Um, this is a really common tool uh, that many of you are probably familiar with, um, just a rototiller. So the rototiller in this cavity here has a number of L-shaped tines that will spin really fast um, from the power from the tractor um, and just work up the soil a little bit more intensely. So lots of home gardeners will use this. Um, lots of farmers use this. We try to not use it too much because of how, um, how much it works the soil. So we feel that um, if we can get away with it, um, we'd like to do just our other practices, basically with a spader, our Lilliston cultivator, um, and that, that normally gets us to the, the tilth that we want in our beds. Um, but sometimes if the moisture is not totally ideal, um, or something happened with the tillage along the way, and we do have some chunks and clods, which, you know, here on the edge of the field, uh, this, is, this would be an example of this, right? A really dry chunk that I can't really uh, take apart with my hand. Um, sometimes, especially if we're gonna direct seed into that bed, um, we're gonna wanna run this rototiller uh, and just break up some of those harder to, to break up um, chunks um, so that we have a really nice, smooth uh, um, bed to seed into. Um, this rototiller in particular is just a little different than what you know you might see at home mainly because it has this bed shaping pan welded onto the back of it so here's the bed shaping pan that just makes that trapezoidal shape so as i pull this tiller through the field i'm going to be kind of collecting a lot of soil that's getting worked in the cavity of the rototiller and then it's going to funnel into these two again trapezoidal shaped pans um, that will leave me a nice tight bed when I'm done with it um, and then we'll be ready for planting.